I finally decided to do kefir. Kefir is like this super strong probiotic drink that has a whole cult following around it that I'm now going to join. I got these grains, these milk kefir grains here from Fusion Tea in Texas. So I guess they're making some good kefir grains in Texas. Apparently you have to activate the grains by sort of letting them grow um, for like 36 hours. So this is what I'm going to do now. Using whole milk. It kind of smells like kombucha. Probably two cups of cold milk and... I'm just gonna cover this loosely, I think. So, I'll check back in 36 hours. Thanks to the, the kombucha and the tequila. It's been about 24 hours. So definitely getting some viscosity going on. It's not as thick as kefir should be yet. I'll check it tomorrow morning. That should be around 36 hours. I kind of got carried away studying. Um, geez, I'm just gonna focus. This is 48 hours, and it really has congealed. Um, it's almost like a gogurt texture right now. But 48 hours is long enough for the activation process and apparently what I have to do now is throw out this batch and restart um, because the grains are supposed to be uh, not strong enough yet. So we're just gonna throw this batch out and let it go all to waste. for another 36 hours. I'm just so sick of studying. I just want to look at this. Wow, it looks like cheese. And it smells like, it smells like kombucha again. I don't know, I feel like I'm just growing another scoby on top of this milk right now. I think I'm gonna look at it tonight and take it out. So after going through six lectures in like two and a half hours, I know that I have to check on my kefir. I've been neglecting it because I was supposed to take it out like 12 hours ago. Okay. All right. Let's see what you're up to. Hmm. Definitely got like a, definitely got some like foamy looking stuff on top. I think that's supposedly like the curds um, separating out and like bringing up the greens. It sort of smells sour. We're gonna strain it out now and see what's going on. Seems like the grains are really just like sticking to the curds or whatever. Can you stop focusing so much? Oh my god. You literally stop focusing. It's so loud. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that's it. After several unsuccessful autofocusing attempts, I have reverted to the good old iPhone 8 and after shaking this guy for a good like 30 minutes I'm starting to see the grains but it looks like a little patty now we've gotten a we've gotten quite a bit so 
I'm just gonna like chug all of that right now. It looks so appetizing. I've been shaking this thing for like a whole day. You can't really separate it out. I think that's just the. That's the life we chose. separated on the top and I think that's like the consistency I want it I ideally would want it more thick but I think leaving it longer makes it separate out more that's what some people have said online if you do like an exact 24 to 36 hour window you can get like that nice creamy texture or whatever here's to my health It's like pretty sour and it tastes a little bit like, it tastes like a sock. But in the way that goat cheese tastes like a sock, so in a good way. It's definitely got like an inconsistent texture. You get some like little chunks, curvy spots, and then some smooth, almost watery spots. I feel like I can almost see the bacteria. My vision's gotten so good. Okay, well that's the first batch of kefir. I'm gonna still keep you guys updated on what happens to it and how it changes as the grains mature, as, as they say in the kefir world. I'll check back later in this kefir journey. Mm -hmm.